So guys, Dr. CY here again and you are welcome to my channel. Today, I want to check out two running shoes in the A6 running shoe lineup. These two shoes are in the opposite sides of the A6 running shoe spectrum, you know. The Genin Boost 25 and the 26, of course, the latest one, the 26. I already have a review of that. You can see that up here in my channel. Uh, the Nimbus 25 and 26 are going for $160. And the Gel Excite 10, I got this one for 223 Saudi Real, and that's approximately 59 US dollars. In other words, we have approximately $100 between these two shoes. Now, I'm putting considerable distance in these shoes, but what I want to do today is to run with these two shoes consecutively. Today, I want to check out how much more value are you getting for extra $100 that you are going to pay to get this. So, what exactly are you buying for $100 between the Nimbus 25 and 26 and the Gel Excite 10? In order to do that, I'm going to do a distance of 12 kilometers now. The first 6 kilometers I will do in the Gel Excite 10 and the second six kilometers I will do in the Gel Nimbus 25. Now, the essence of this is, I run in this, remind myself exactly how these shoes feel and whatever I can get from it, and then I will run in this to compare how much more am I getting running in this than in this. So stay with me as we get on to it. Now, first of all, I lace up the Gel Excite 10, and then we go for the six kilometer run. Okay, so I'm ready to go. Let's head out for the six kilometer run. Oh, I just laced up this one and I can get the vibes. We begin to feel the fire. Very nice feel. Supportive, very comfortable around my feet. Nice underfoot comfort. Excellent lockdown. Good vibes so far from this year. The night's young. And it's just begun As she puts her hand in mine We wanna chase the night So guys, I'm back. Six kilometers done in the cool evening breeze of the map. It's actually around a few minutes to five here, yeah? but this is still late winter, so it gets dark easily this time around. So, um, I got my vibes from these shoes. I will say that I enjoyed the feel. They were lightweight. They were not explosive by any means, but they were decently responsive. The cushion is just adequate. The arch support was good. I felt a decent support from the upper. They felt very nice, soft and comfortable around the feet. The lockdown was just perfect. I had no complaints at all. So the next is to lace up the Nimbus 25 and also take another six kilometer run. Of course, I'm not going to run in the 26 today. I don't think there's any need for me to rerun in that shoe in order to be able to make this comparison. The vibe I got from both shoes, we are practically the same. I find the 25 more comfortable, softer on the feet, you know. So that's why I prefer to make this comparison with this 25 rather than the 26. Okay, time to go. The lockdown was excellent. The cushioning was just perfect, you know, and the responsiveness was there. This overall, this was a very nice run with these shoes. <laughs> so guys, ah. <sighs> Second six kilometers dusted here in the cool evening of the mom. And uh, I must say that uh, this we are awesome. You know, it was an awesome run. So now it's time for the comparison. Both shoes we are super comfortable on the feet. Their underfoot comfort was nice and good and very supportive. You know, the uppers in both shoes felt very good enough room in the toe box the lockdown in the two shoes we are excellent on the weight well these felt significantly lighter on the feet but overall i will say that the extra weight of these shoes did not show at all because these were pretty much more bouncy than i got from this but all the same they were light they were nimble they were a decent shoe to run in now the next thing to talk about is the cushion there is a significant difference in these two shoes 
The Nibus 25 were plush and superbly soft underfoot, whereas the Gel Excite 10 was soft and comfortable. It was far from plush. And then when it comes to overall comfort too, the Nimbus 25 was clearly way ahead. If you look at the materials, the premium materials you get in this, this is the Ahab Plus. And the upper here is so much thicker and better and uh, stronger than you can get in the Gel XI 10. So it's obvious that you are go definitely going to get more mileage from the Nimbus 25 than you are going to get from the Gel XI 10. Because this was closer to the ground and relatively firmer, they were pretty much more stable. Now, the stability in the Nimbus 25 was very okay, but you can feel extra stability in this than you can get in this one. So guys, what extra value are you getting overall for $100? You are getting extra comfort. You are paying for extra sweetness on the foot, extra protection on the feet. You are getting extra bounce and you get extra durability. I will liken this to, it's like going on a journey a 2024 Mercedes-Benz and a 2020 Toyota Corolla, you know. Both cars can take you where you are going to go in absolute comfort and you are going to enjoy the ride in both. But definitely, you are going to get much more comfort, luxury and plushness in the 2024 Benz than you are going to get in the Toyota Corolla. You know, that's just exactly the way I can describe these shoes, you know. In other words, running in this is going to be more like a luxury ride than a basic ride that you are going to get in the Gel XI 10. The Gel XI 10 gives you a basic comfortable run, but the Nimbus 25 will give you a luxury underfoot. I will say, if you can afford it, go for it. The extra joy I got from running in this was worth it. But if you cannot, definitely, just like I mentioned, 2020 Toyota Corolla can take you anywhere in comfort. You are going to enjoy your ride, but in the 2024 Benz car, you know, a lot of more extra of the finer things of life. That's just a way that I'm going to liken these shoes to this. For me, I think it's worth the extra expense. So guys, that's it for this. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos. See you in the next one.